So what, like we learned last time, guys, when you have inequality, for example, I have one up there, y, how about y is, we do a different one, y is less than x, oh, I'm sorry, x, uh, how about plus 3? Do you guys remember how to graph this inequality? So remember, today, last time we talked about just one inequality, guess what? When I say system, you're going to talk about? One or more, one or more. I'm going to talk about the very simplest one, which is two. So let's graph this one first. So who remembers how to graph this? What, where, how do I graph this boundary line? Three people? Four. That's it? Oh, I remember. Yes, sir. What do I do first? You make, uh, you make a dotted line for, uh, Yeah, it's going to be dotted because it's strictly less than. So yeah. where do I start at? I have to draw my boundary line, right? So how do I draw this boundary line? Draw it as if the line was x plus 3. That's right. You draw it as if. I like how you said that. You draw the line as if it's x, y is equal to x plus 3, but it's going to be dotted, right? So Nick, tell me what to where to start. On where? Here? Oh, here? Okay. Then I do what? What's my slope? Slope is not x, slope is 1. one. Go up to the right one. Go up to the, so it's going to be dotted right here. Okay, very good. I'm not done, am I? No. I need to shade below or above? Below. Very good. This is y less than. So I'm going to shade it like this. Any question? Now, is this system? No, no, this is not system. It's only one. So if I'm talking about systems, guess what? I'm going to need a... Another one. How about y is greater than negative x? Uh, how about minus 1? How do I graph this red one? By the way, do you think I should label this one? Okay, so I'm doing it with a different color, but if you're not, you should label these. Right? So I start at where? Negative 1. Is it going to be dot? Okay, let me make it solid time, time, this time, right? If I have greater than or equal to, it's going to be a solid line. Isn't that right? So I go what? Down 1 to the right. No, go down 1 to the right one because this is negative 1 over 1, the slope, right? My y intercept is negative 1 here. Slope is 1. Y intercept is 3. You see the difference? So I go, okay, so I'm going to go up 1 to the left 1. I could do that too. So let me connect these. Now, is it going to be above or below? Above. Yeah, it says y is down. It's going to be above the whole thing. Let me actually do it on the, let me actually do it this way. Is that okay? Now, let me ask you this, because we haven't seen this before. Where do you think my solution lies? Because now I have system. My system, I have the so systems of this inequality. Where do you think my solution is? What do you think my solution, yeah, Tina? Is the area in where both are? Yeah, it's where the both regions, what? Overlap, okay? It's right here. You see this region? Is, is it going to go forever? Can I, so I'm just going to do, you see where they, both of them overlap, right? So let me ask you this. A point that is in this, is this point a solution to this, these inequalities? No. This one right here, is it a solution? No. What about this one? No. Is that point, no. This one is not, right? No. It is only solution for the red one, is that right? Yeah. Are you paying attention? Yes. What about this, Molly? No. Is this point a solution? That's like no. double no. What about this one right here? No. Let me ask you a kind of trick question, watch this. Guys, are you, are you listening? <laughs> what about where the red? line, the, the boundary line, and then the black boundary line intersect. What about this point? No, it is not because one of them is not dot, it's one of them is dotted, you see? You see what I'm talking about? What about this point? So this is not a solution. You see where they over, uh, intersect. What about this point that is on this dotted line? Is that a solution? Yes. No, on the dotted line, is that a solution? No, it is not. What about on the red line? Yes, it is because on the red line, right, it is a solution to both, both of the inequalities, inequalities. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay, now, on your homework tonight, guys, listen. Do you think they're going to give you these inequalities, nice ones like these? No. They're going to make you, give you something like this. Why would they give us nice ones? They've never been nice ones. <laughs> that's, that's, no, it's like this. Listen, what are you going to do first? Make it into a? So, x minus 3 less than negative 2. Hold on, guys. Guys. So, you must change it to what kind of, what kind of equation? What form do we need? What form do we need? So 
slow being said. So and when I divide both sides by negative two, what happens? Thank you. You do you think you better switch the inequality yes. symbol? Yes. Good. Hold on. So you should then rewrite this as y um, less than negative half x plus 3 over 2, right? So there's your y-intercept slope is negative half. And you should have the y always on the left because then you know that it's going to be y less than, so it's going to be below or above. It'll be below, okay?